Talk about distant key centers. Now we want you to listen to the bass. And I do this in a lot of my clinics, and I want to reiterate how excited I am to be with, with Jupiter Instruments. I've been with them now for three years, and what I'm really, really impressed with is their commitment to quality and their dedication to music education. And uh, again, I want a big, big shout out to Jupiter. Um, whenever I present the clinics about power practicing or effective use of practice time, I get all of the students in the audience and some of the older folks too to listen down to the bass because the bass gives away all the secrets. A lot of tunes begin and end in one key. Other tunes like Unforgettable have two keys. Giant Steps is not in one. It's not in two keys. It's in three keys. Everyone go, ooh, ah. Uh. Yeah. And if you stack all those keys, G, B natural, and E flat, you have yourself an augmented triad. Everyone go, ah. But Giant Steps is usually performed at a blistering tempo. That's what John Coltrane did back in the early 60s with the Blue Note recording. Boo -doo 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 -doo. But we're going to do this at a more manageable tempo and a more listenable tempo, I think. As a matter of fact, I did this on a wedding gig not too long ago. We dedicated it to the bride and groom. Uh, they were about to leave and uh, to have the rice thrown at them. <laughs> and I started feeling a little crazy, so I, I announced. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the bride and groom are going out to the car and to symbolize their wonderful leap of faith, we are going to play John Coltrane's Giant Steps. And everyone went, oh, isn't that sweet? And the bass player tapped me on the shoulder and he said, Harry, I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> so here we go, Giant Steps. One, two, a one, two, three.
Yeah, how about that, folks? Now, here's what we're going to do. At the end of this chorus, I'm going to sing some of the bass lines that Sean is doing. And I want you guys to start, to start listening and singing along, too, if you can. The first note of the bass is a B natural. So, again, it's all about how curious you want to get as an active listener. B, D, G, B flat, E flat, A, D, G, B flat, E flat, F sharp, B, F, B flat, E flat, A, D, G, C sharp, F sharp, B, F, B flat, E flat. You got it? Okay. Yeah.